Today we're beginning a series on Christmas chocolate making. We're starting with an easy one, homemade eat more bars. Yum yum. Join us, won't you? Hello and welcome to another Mumsy video. Today we are going to do Christmas chocolate. I don't know about you guys, but I always make homemade chocolates, stick them in a whole bunch of different boxes, and then I have ready-made presents to give out for anyone who might come by, and my friends and family, and now they've sort of come to expect it, so we're starting early, and we're gonna start really easy today. Do you remember those Eat More bars? I don't know if they still sell those, but they're so good. Anyway, we're gonna make homemade ones today, so that's gonna be really good, and that'll be the first thing we make for this series of chocolate making, which I hope to continue in the next few videos. So, um, let's go over ingredients. First, you'll need a nine by nine inch pan here, and it says, the recipe says to grease, slightly grease the bottom and line it with parchment paper. Um, I don't know, it seems like overkill to me, but just in case, that's what we're going to do. We also need two cups of peanuts, um, roasted, uh, salted, or unsalted, doesn't matter. We also have a cup and a half of dark chocolate chips. You can also use bittersweet, but I like the dark. I'm not so good with the milk chocolate, and this one's really great for that because it says that the milk chocolate doesn't really work well. So we also need a cup of corn syrup. If you're like me, again, in Canada, I feel like I'm buying contraband when I buy corn syrup up here. It's hard to find. I found it at Walmart, though, and it is also at the bulk barn. Um, we don't even have corn syrup in our pop up here, so I always feel a little sneaky when I buy it. Um, and you'll need three quarters of a cup of peanut butter and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, so do you have your Slurpee? your coffee, your wine, whatever you need. Let's get started next. Isn't this a really weird angle? <laughs> well, the first thing we're going to do here, I put the uh, camera right above me so we can see everything. And we're going to, on medium to low heat, we're going to put that corn syrup in there first. Remember it's a cup. Get all of that out of there. Sticky sweet stuff. to keep stirring this quite a bit because we do not want it to be burnt and as you might know candy can burn really easily so we're gonna get this heated up until it's almost boiling three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. I'm going to stir that in there. Come on, get it out of here. 
little bit fast so that we can continue stirring. Oh, I hate getting peanut butter out of cups. <laughs> it's always so sticky and messy. Okay. to add our chocolate chips in there and it says only to cook this for four minutes more so we're gonna stir constantly for four minutes make sure everything melts together they melt so fast we don't want it to burn I'm going to turn down the heat even more. And I'm not going to go any further than that. It says remove from heat. Can you still see that? Mm, sort of. We'll move it right here. And it says stir in the peanuts. So that's what we're going to do next. Mmm, <laughs> starting to look like an eat more, hey? Yummy. And then we're going to put it into our prepared pan. Now, I'm going to figure out the camera angle for that <laughs> in a second here, but it's all stirred up. All right, we've got our prepared pan here. And it says that a silicone spatula is the best thing to do to shape this into the bar shape that we want. So I'm going to just dump it in here first. My pot is kind of... Okay, camera angles. I gotta learn these. Let's see. Is that better? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> we'll put this to the side. <laughs> And you can see here, we're going to flatten it out. Now, my pan is actually an 8x8. A 9x9 would be better. But we're just going to cut it small into little tiny squares of candy anyway. So, I'm going to... Just kind of shape it and it says to cool them at room temperature I guess you don't want them hard because eat more candy is um, very um, chewy like right so we're gonna just let it cool at room temperature before removing and then we'll cut it with a sharp knife I'm going to taste it. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> Put that aside. And yes, I'll finish my Slurpee. We'll let that uh, cool. And we'll be back for the unveiling or the cutting of the uh, Eat More Bars next. Pulled the chocolate out of the pan there. And now we're going to cut it. Doesn't it look yummy? I'm excited. I have a very sharp knife here. And I've got these little um, mini cupcake things I got from the dollar store and I want my chocolates to fit inside there. So I'm going to cut mine really small. But I mean you could cut it like a chocolate bar even if you wanted. Oh, still a little smushy. I let it um, rest at room temperature for three hours, so 
I think that should be good because the eat mores, if you remember when you ate them uh, when you were a kid, or I don't know if they still sell them, but uh, they're chewy and yummy. So they're supposed to be a little bit chewy here. So what do you think? If I cut them small. And then I'm going to put, open up one of these. I'm going to put a square inside each for just a little taste. And you know what? I'm going to taste it myself. Mmm. <laughs> now, can you imagine if I tried this and it was really gross? <laughs> no. But, you know, it tastes just like those Eat More chocolate bars. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. So, there you have it. We have made our own homemade Eat More bars. Um, if you like this, we're doing a few different chocolates coming up in the next few videos. Uh, all ready for Christmas. So, um, like, subscribe, click on that notifications bell if you want to know when the next video comes out right away. And, uh, bye-bye for now.